Welcome everyone, i got something a bit different for you lot today. I've actually gone and got myself a mic so I can actually narrate over what I'm doing. So yeah, let's get this started. Before I start any of my jobs, the first thing I've always got to do is clean off all the paint off all the pipes. It's long but MIG isn't good at going through paint. So yeah, I've just got my 8 inch um, flange on the table, put my 3 mil spacer on it and then just put a single tack. Matching the pipe to the flange. Pretty simple right here, nice and easy. Putting the four tacks on it and then moving over to the vise where I've got a single V-sand underneath the pipe and you can see I can adjust it nice and level. And that's, a, that's called a spider clamp. A few users were asking me what it is. That's what you use to hang weld necks. You can use them to hang slip on flanges, but I mostly use them only for weld necks really. You'll notice later on in the video, the crazy size gap I had to weld. I thought the saw was broken, so when I saw the gap, I thought, oh no, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. But it turns out the, the blade was only um, worn out. So I didn't actually um, need to deal with it. I could have just got the pipe chopped again. So yeah, you can see here, a silly size gap. Again, cleaning off the paint, ready for sockets to go on. Yeah, nice and straightforward, putting the socket on. Marking around it. So there's four sockets on, on the whole pipe. I'm ironing it up, putting the socket right in the middle. Sometimes you see me using the level to scrape and it just puts a mark right at the top part of the pipe so I know where the center is. But you don't always have to do that. Always clean the burn holes because I don't like welding over that slag. And then yeah, four tacks on each socket. I was going to um, weld it, but I thought nah, I'll weld it later on. But there's going to be no um, pipe welding in this one here. I'm only just showing you the fabrication. So yeah, pretty straightforward right here. Keeping it all level. If you look closely, when I hit the socket with the hammer, I'm not hitting at the top to damage the thread. I'm hitting kind of um, in the corner, it's ricocheting off of the pipe and hitting the socket at the same time. All four done and you can see the size of that gap I think I measured it it, it turned out to be um, just over 10 mil but had I known the saw only had a blunt blade 
I would have taken the pipe back and got a new one. Yeah, this piece done, ready to be welded up. And here's another piece I had to do at the same time. You see I got a bit carried away. I tacked the reducer onto the flange, not checking the location of it. So I'll chop, chop it off later on because it's, it's not on square. using my shims there again the most important tool I've got and here you can see I'm chopping off the flange again because I didn't I didn't put the reducer in the right location I use them two bolts as a, a locator to make the flange holes line up and then uh, just using my eye. There's ways of measuring to get it perfect, but this is more than good enough for the application that I'm doing. all square all tacked up ready to move back to the vise to put the final flange on and I believe this one's got a socket as well so you can see how the V stand you can adjust it up and down to twist the bolt holes the most my vise opens up to is um, it can fit a six inch eight inches a struggle you can only fit on top and you have to tack it to it and there's my spider clamps again the big one didn't work, the small one didn't open big enough. This spider clamp is used to attach things to elbows, which um, it fits perfect for this one, so it's all good. Try not to double handle, so I've twisted it 90 degrees and I can put the socket on in this direction as well. Just checking the overall length as well. making sure the overall is nice it's all good socket holes burn quite straightforward putting on sockets I welded it up off camera because I know these videos take a while to make and I know it's an interesting video to see Yeah, just welded up. The roots came out nice, even though I had a 10 mil gap to weld at certain spots. I'm happy with that. All in all, took me an hour and a half to um, fab and weld all of them. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and leave a like and a comment for more videos just like this. Zombie apocalypse.